Yeah, and uh, a point that Coach Dungey made yesterday in the viewing room as we were talking about the significance of this game, everything that the Rams have done since the playoff loss in Green Bay is about going back to Green Bay and winning. And even though it didn't happen in the single elimination round, the idea that you get Matthew Stafford, you get Vaughn Miller, you get Odell Beckham Jr., and you get the same outcome, if not an uglier outcome with Matthew Stafford as the quarterback, th that, that leaves a mark for the Rams. And for as, as hot as they were, 7-1 and one just a few weeks ago, many were saying the best team in football, probably got to the number one spot in plenty of the uh, all-important power rankings out there, and three straight losses, two in prime time and one in the big late afternoon window. That, that's embarrassing for a team that is embracing the, hey, hey, everybody, pay attention to us. Well, we are, and we don't like what we see. And uh, they, they better figure out how to, as, as I say from time to time, change the tire on a moving car because it's, it's just not working right now. Whatever it is, it's not working. So let me flip it on the other side and tell you what can go on in a locker room is, okay, uh, by the time maybe we play again, if they play the Packers again, it'll be a lot more meaning on the game, right? Now this one was seeding, I get it. But if it's in the playoffs, it's obviously a one and done. Von Miller will have had more time. OBJ will have had more time on the team. So what you do is you spin it to a positive. Listen, players are realistic. They can sit in the locker room and understand what went on in that game. But they can also look forward to say, okay, we may get another shot or by the time we get to the playoffs that are we playing at our best, which means, again, Von Miller getting more time and OBJ getting more time in that offense and then being able to execute better. So that's kind of how you look at it from the other side of it, even though this was they had to be obviously very disappointed in this loss. And hopefully Matthew Stafford stops throwing interceptions that go for six the other way. As I said, turnovers from the beginning of the football to the end of football – that will never change. Turnovers can absolutely destroy you. And we're finding that out with a few teams, the Rams being one of them. And, and here's the problem, Mike. If there is a rematch, the chances are now increased that the Rams are going to have to go back to Lambeau Field in mid to late January right. instead of having the Packers come to them. And, and that, that was the stakes of this one. Hey, if you can't beat the Packers in late November on a day where the weather isn't an issue, good luck in late January when the weather inevitably will be an issue. Let's hear from Sean McVay, the guy who, whose glass is perpetually half full even when it's completely empty, talking about whether or not his expectations have changed for the season in light of the three straight losses. With three losses in a row, are you concerned that all your goals for this season could, could spin out of control? Absolutely not. Uh, no, because there's still six games left. Um, you know, for us, uh, the only thing that we can do is really just get ourselves back in alignment and have a good week of preparation and try to get back on track against the Jaguars. Yeah, and, and look, they have the Jaguars, but then it gets very difficult. They've got the Cardinals, the Seahawks, who aren't going to come in and lay down, and they may still be alive by the time week 15 rolls around. Then it's a trip to Minnesota, a trip to Baltimore, on January 2nd, and then the season ends with a visit from the 49ers, and we've seen what the 49ers have been able to do to the Rams in recent years. So it's not an easy stretch, and and uh, catching the Cardinals is getting more and more difficult as the Rams keep losing, and uh, they may have to go on on the road every level of the playoffs to try to try to get what they they had. So every team wants. I know every team wants, in theory wants to win the Super Bowl, wants to get to the Super Bowl. They all have to say it, or the fans are going to be like, what the hell's wrong with you? We want it. Why don't you want it? The Rams are one of the 10 teams that you can look at and say they have a chance to get there and win it. When they say it, it's not just bluster, and they make the moves aimed at doing it. They go get Vaughn Miller. They go get OBJ. That's what's amazing to me, Mike. 0-3 since they traded for, for Vaughn Miller. And I know we didn't play in that first game against the Titans, but still, the, the sizzle, the buzz, right. it's, it's led to nothing. It's sparked this losing streak. Yeah, listen, I, I agree with you. Again, I'm, I'm willing to give that one more time between him and OBJ to get, to get more comfortable. 
uh, with their new teams. But again, this is pro football. Uh, this is pro sports. So a lot of times it's come in and, and we need to see results right now. So, you know, I've talked about this a lot. You love to control your own destiny, and certainly they do as far as the playoffs. But as far as the division, they don't. They've already lost to the Cardinals once or two losses behind the Cardinals, and they only get Arizona one more time. So math says they need help from the Cardinals, i.e. Cardinals to lose more and the Rams to keep winning for them to have a shot at the division. So right now they sit in the five slot, uh, and, and it'll be looking like something like that or lower uh, if they can't take that division, if they don't get help by Arizona losing. But again, I, I have no doubt that like the team or like their coach, the team is going to think of the glass half full. But your point of if they do have a rematch with Green Bay of where it's going to be, we talked we talked about this weeks ago when we saw this NFC kind of the teams that were kind of laying out to be where they were going to be is, man, what a difference if you're going to Lambeau or if you get to be in L.A., there's a monster difference, or down in Tampa Bay with these NFC teams. There is a monster difference in travel. And if you've got to travel to Green Bay in January, you better damn well hope it's a mild winter. And hope and cross your fingers you get one of those mild days where it's only 38 degrees. You know, <laughs> and, and it's not too awful out because that, that's a tough road that, uh, that some teams are going to have to take if they're going to Lambeau. We need to take a break, but Mike, there's one thread that I want to just tug on a little bit here. I want to get your input on this. Matthew Stafford showed up on the injury report all season long one time. Week 9, he missed two practices with a back injury. He was limited on Friday, played on the Sunday night game against the Titans. No other whisper of any injury on any of the reports for the Rams through 12 weeks. Yesterday morning, one of the Sunday splash reports, as Sean Payton calls them, was that Matthew Stafford is dealing with, and I can't even remember all the ailments. It's his back. It's his elbow. It's his arm. It's his this. It's his that. The first thing I did was I started looking at the injury reports. And then after the game, Stafford says, I'm feeling fine. Nobody's 100% this time of year. I, when, when there's a, a big to-do made about how banged up a guy is, and the injury reports don't mesh with it, and his words don't mesh with it. I, it just makes me wonder who's out there trying to make excuses for Matthew Stafford for not performing the way that everyone thought he would. Because that, that's my first thought. Somebody's trying to bake in an excuse for why it's all of a sudden not working for Matthew Stafford. And we saw yesterday it didn't work again. Yeah, I, I guess my thought on that is, Mike, even if we knew of the injuries – He's, he's not coming out. It's kind of like the Baker Mayfield. Right. You don't right. know the backup? You, who is it? John Walford? Is that, is that the backup uh, with the Rams? Is, is that where you're going? So, to yes. me, it would be white noise anyway. If others want to make excuse for why uh, things are going bad, especially in the last three games, so be it. But to me, the reality of the situation is if there are, in fact, nicks and injuries, and we knew about them for the last few weeks, what difference was it going to make? Matthew Stafford was going to still be on the field. So that part of it isn't going to change for me. Yeah, and, and, and I agree with what you're saying. It's just odd that these injuries aren't out there, and if they're bad enough, they should be. But why is somebody making that a big story on a Sunday leading into a big game unless somebody is concerned about the narrative about Matthew Stafford? That's what's confusing to me, and we'll see how that plays out. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.